Hey, it's Kate here. Just thought I'd come to you quickly seeing I haven't actually done a live video for quite a while. I used to try every Friday to do a bit of a live where I just chat about something that had been on my mind for a little bit, but um, this year has started uh, really differently to most. I've been a lot busier, I think, and um, so I just thought I'd just touch base seeing it feels like for me, um, it's almost like we have to start again. <laughs> so the beginning of the year is often, you know, a time of lots of different changes and lots of transitions and lots of getting used to things. And in Victoria, we had a snap lockdown, which I think has kind of shaken everybody's, um, you know, getting, getting started kind of feeling a little bit. So it certainly has for me. So I just um, wanted to sort of title this video, like starting afresh. So, and, and and I know that can be kind of feel a bit exhausting to do sometimes. So I just thought I would um, touch base with you and let you know what we've been doing um, at the practice and how it's really important to, I suppose, build uh, positivity and build momentum, especially after having um, that momentum kind of suddenly cease when things are really um, beyond our control, which definitely a lot of the COVID shutdowns and things are totally out of our control and it can leave us feeling, um, you know, a bit powerless and a bit overwhelmed and having to make so many fast decisions um, and it takes up a lot of mental load. So I've been saying even this week, um, even though with I'm really fortunate that when lockdown happens, it means I transition back to full telehealth and, you know, and I was able to do that, which I'm really, really grateful for. However, even doing that means that, that you know, telehealth doesn't suit everybody doesn't suit all clients and so in between um, my telehealth sessions I was you know trying to get other bits and pieces done my online programs and work on those things and um, what it meant is I forgot how tiring to be doing telehealth is too which is something that I remembered from last March when we um, went full telehealth at the practice so um, it was even more exhausted this week and just I think the uncertainty from what I've been hearing from people as well um, you know not not knowing whether it was going to be longer um, and again not knowing whether it's going to happen again this year so just keep in mind if you've been feeling like oh it's only five days I shouldn't be feeling quite so blah about it all um, it's more than that and and for a lot of people kind of um, triggering as well especially for Melbourne people who really bore the brunt of of some of those closures so just just be mindful of lots of self-care with that so and speaking of self-care I've just finished um, one of my online program spectrum steps which was with a group of amazing uh, parents and we did lots of planning and lots of thinking about all the different areas of life that we may have not been paying as much attention to areas of life for our kids that we really want to focus on and how we're going to do that so we spent about three or four weeks together planning um, the future and planning what the rest of the year um, is going to look like in terms of some goals and doing lots of really interesting learning about mindset for parents themselves and how we can kind of enhance um, kids well-being by expanding that you know within our family and and things like that so that has been amazing um, getting to do that and then what I'll be doing soon is you might see some posts coming up we've got the glimmer program which is what I ran last year and that was designed in my mind for parents that are new to autism and to learning about um, all the different uh, moving parts that often go with autism, all the information that's really helpful to have and sharing, I suppose, my perspective, which is, you know, about a strengths-based focus, about nurturing parents as being the biggest and most amazing influence on their children and, and how we can use that information to sort of go forward in a, in a really positive way. So that will be starting starting on the 8th of March and that'll run for four weeks. Um, so if you see um, some posts up about that and you've got any questions, please just um, ask me. Um, like I said, the, the group programs have been my way to try and help as many people as I can, considering my one-to-one -one spaces are very, very limited at the practice. Um, so having that um, has been busy, having those programs getting going. And then for the first time, we've been running our Westmead Feelings Program hi um westmead feelings program before school started so we've just done week three this week and um it's been really good we've had parents bringing their kids in at quarter to eight which oh my gosh amazing that they're making it so early and the kids are full of enthusiasm so we did week three today of a five-week 
um, part of module two. And I had the pleasure of chatting with the parents about how they um, have experienced the program so far and giving them a look at what we're going to be working on for the next couple of weeks because the module two out of Westmead program, Feelings Program is working on um, its perspective taking and problem solving and building those skills of recognizing emotions in others, which was the module one, um, and how we can kind of use use that um, in our social situations and things like that. So we got to have a chat with them and they'll be able to share that with their teachers and principals, um, the PowerPoint presentation that we did today. Um, so they have a little bit more information about the kinds of skills the kids are working on. So that was really great. And then we'll have another catch up week five where we'll again um, review the end of module two, give them a preview of module three, which will run in term two. So that's been extra busy, um, but so far I think that uh, it's working really well, but I'll be totally open to seeing what the parents say um, in terms of how that early morning starts, how they transition back to school. Just because after school programs, um, kids are incredibly tired and, and certainly we want them as fresh as possible. So we're trying to, to work around the needs of families as well as make sure that when they're with us, that they're actually getting the best out of their time with us as well, because it's each of the modules is only five weeks so making sure that that expands to home and to school is super super important so that's been new at the practice and also like I said my online programs um, are new as well so lots of different things happening and um, like I said you know I like everybody take that setback as um, of, of shutdowns as well and it certainly does affect me but I just I suppose draw on my resources of refocusing looking at self-care and and again for me you know a lot of yoga and reading and family time and getting outside into nature is really um, how I can improve my self-care and look after myself so and spending time with my family so thinking about those things as well for you how you can make sure that you're doing some of those things especially when we've Victoria in particular has just been through what we have and and New South Wales as well of course we're a border community so even though if the shutdown happens in Victoria it does affect um, both sides of the border definitely um, so I'm hoping that the end of this week brings some relief and some you know chance to reflect and kind of go right let's take two at this beginning of the year 2021 um, have a reflect and see if there's some things that you really want to get out of the year and if I can help you at all please reach out and um, see what we can do but otherwise have a wonderful Friday afternoon it's very very warm out here I've been working outside but I think I'm going to have to move in under the air conditioning it's getting a little bit too warm and have a great weekend and I will talk with you really soon thanks for watching bye